Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I wanted to talk to you today about who's your source. This is a message the Lord has, I've been just kind of diving into certain aspects of the Bible. I'm going to give you some scriptures here. Proverbs 2 is the main, is one, not really the main one, but I'm just going to read a little bit of it. My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commandments within you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom, and apply your heart to understanding. You know, we all have gifts and callings. Each of y'all that are even listening to this, we're all part of the body of Christ. There's no big eyes and little U's. People use apostles and prophets in, in their titles all over this land. Not even knowing, some of them not even knowing what they're talking about. The, the gifts and callings of the office. We should all rejoice in the gifts and callings that we all have. We all have prophecy, we all have understanding, we all have wisdom if we ask for it. Who's your source? Jesus and the Bible should be your source. Prayer, ask Jesus, what would you do? It is all about Jesus. So here's some more scriptures that I'm just going to kind of give you. Well, and I'm written down and I got them in a different, different part of my Bible. Hold on a second because I got them in here. Sorry, I apologize. Proverbs 2 about wisdom. Proverbs 2, 13, instruction. Proverbs 3, 1 through 6, wisdom and trust. Isaiah 26 and 3, trust. Jeremiah 17, 7 through 8, trust. Ecclesiastes is about rebuilding. 3 and 3. Joel 2, 21 through 27, rebuilding. Joel 2.28 about the spiritual gifts. Actually, all of Joel 2 is good. So, it's time for us as a, as a body of Christ to stand up and be kind and worthy and to use our gifts and callings, wherever they might be, in the church. Um, we can get stuck on ourselves, especially ministers, worship leaders, kind of stuck in a rut of just better than because when we see God moving in our lives and with the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit moving and the manifestations and things that he's showing us but it's not about us it's about you it's about the giftings that are in you it's about the body of Christ about how we need to just lift it up this is our last day end time revival move of Jesus let me get a little bit in the light here again. And it's a time of dispensation that we live in. Jesus. It is about Jesus. What's your source? Who's your source? Who are you listening to? Where are you coming from? It's a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Getting into your heart. Accepting Him into your heart. Walking through. Then He'll show you the salvation plan. The infilling of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost. Because you need that to lead God and direct you to all truths. Get it? You know, what I'm saying, bounce it off Jesus, bounce it off God, bounce it off the Bible. Is it biblically based? Search for yourself. There's a book that the Lord inspired me to write about visions. That's a, and look, look it up on my YouTube channel, Free Christian Book free get a copy of it it's just an inspirational tool some things God show me in the spirit it gives me visions it's just a gift many of us have them not everybody but that's just one of the gifts the Lord's given me some of us have to get you know, all kinds of different gifts are in the body it's time that we rejoice and build up and lift up to lift up the gifts the gifts and callings that are in people and quit looking at all the negative stuff that's out there in the world the twisted up lies and deceit and just garbage and crap and some of it's even in the church people trying to lift themselves up to be you know prophets that they're not 
above God, you know, putting themselves above above the church, above God, above, you know, almost above God. You know, they hear God and you don't. We all hear different. We all can hear different things from God. Our men, our pastors can hear di are going to hear things different from God because He's given them a direction. There's a there's an order. We have to flow in that. It doesn't mean we don't hear from God. It doesn't mean us as saints, you know. There was a message. There's other messages I want you to listen to about being like Jesus and portraying Jesus in your life. And it is about all about Jesus. Who's your source? Go to your source. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, the Bible. Get an understanding for yourself. It's about your personal relationship with Jesus. That's my message. That's what I'm going to kind of focus on. That's what I want to look at, address, direct. Try to keep these messages kind of short. This one's going to be a little bit longer because it seems to be going longer. Sorry about that. I apologize. Who's your source? You know, well, I'm going to throw this out there. It's in the media. You know, you hear about media. Unnamed source said this person, that person. Kind of annoying, you know. Do we really want to even believe that? They don't even... Where is it coming from? I've been watching bits and pieces of the news, but try to turn it off a lot. Because I want to hear what's going on in the world, in the country. But i got to kind of bounce that off of Jesus. And it's the last day in time revival, move of God. And it's time that we just focus on that. Focus on what God's doing in our lives and what God's doing in the people and the lives in the church. And just build and build and build the body of Christ build up each other when it's godly when it's biblical who your source I want my source to be Jesus God the Holy Spirit and the Bible this is an indelible word so anyhow that's kind of where I'm coming from um, look at some of my other YouTube messages it's not about me it's just about a closer walk with God. It's about your independent walk with Jesus, bringing that into the body of Christ. That's bringing it all together and propelling this movement because we are in a grace dispensation of God. Look at my other messages. Look at the one on the economic collapse of the USA. Look at just different things. There's so many things that could transpire in this world and it could flip upside down tomorrow. Who's your source? Time to put Jesus first, because that's the hour and dispensation that we live in. It's God's ultimate plan with salvation of mankind, and that's the time that we live in. So, bounce it off God. Bounce it off Jesus. Bounce it off the Holy Spirit. Ask Him, Jesus, what would you do? Show me in the scripture. I do that all the time, and you'll give me scriptures. I don't have this great sound memory that I should that some people have and they can just pull scriptures out and know exactly where they are and where their address and what they actually say and can, it can repeat them I can't do that he'll just give me scriptures and I don't have any idea what they are I have to look them up they could be about the lineage of Jesus and things in the Old Testament that I don't even really not that I'm confused but that I may not quite understand that are just kind of you know you know what I'm talking about and but they're not. They're usually relevant. Exactly what I need. The, the one he gave me today about some issues that are, or situations that are going on in our church. Romans 12. He told me to stay in that. Keep my Bible open to it, which I'm going to do. I'm going to keep it open to it all day on my kitchen table. Dwell in it. Repeat it. Go over it and over it and over it and over it and over it. Something that I need from God. I need more understanding and wisdom and knowledge and truth. It says, lean not on your own understanding. One of the scriptures I gave you in Ephesians 3. Proverbs 3, I'm sorry. So, I want a clear and concise understanding. I want my source to be, you know, I live in Dallas. So, there's this river called the Trinity River. It's a nasty river. Dirty water. Or the Mississippi, kind of dirty water. I'm not going to go to the Mississippi or to the Trinity River for a drink of water. I'm going to try to bottle of purified water. I want something clear, pure, clean. Go to your source. 
we all have, you know, we all have access to Jesus. It's a personal relationship with Jesus. We're all the same. He created us all the same. There's no, like I said, no big eyes, little U's. Or, you know, I've got a message on that, and it's just not one that I'm bringing up today. But we all have the right, the access to. That's the way God designed it. We're all created in His image. So anyhow, what's your source? Who's your source? I want it to be Jesus. I want it to be God. I want it to be the Holy Ghost. I want it to be the Word. You can listen to what I'm saying. Bounce it off of, bounce it off of God. Or any other ministers. Or any other leaders. Or any other, you know, where you go to church. Where you attend. Or any others that you watch on YouTube. Or any other ministries. You know? Bounce it off God. Who are you sitting next to at church? They probably got something that you need, or you've got something that they need. Build them up. Talk to them. Maybe just listen. Maybe that's what you need to do to edify the body of Christ, is to listen. Maybe you need to speak. What's God telling you to do? Who's your source? It's time to just take authority over this land, over this last day end time revival that's coming because we are in a grace dispensation nothing to do with me it's God wants it that way Jesus wants it that way the world's in a mess God's not he's in control he's got a purpose we all have purpose driven life who's your source Get closer to God. That's all. That's all. That's what this book is that the Lord inspired me to write is about. It took me a long time to write it, six months to write it, and over a year to find all the scriptures to go with it because I wanted it to be biblically based because I wanted it to be the truth. And He told me not to interpret interpret the visions that He gave me to, for the, each individual reader. If he didn't want man's interpretation of it. I had to step back. Not that I really wanted to, but not that I really wanted to interpret them, but. I could. I couldn't. So, anyhow, thanks for listening to this message. Sorry it's a little lengthy. Um, please listen and tune in to my other ones. You can comment. You can reach me at Steve Youngstrom at Yahoo.com if you want to individually email me. Got any comments? Please put comments on my YouTube channel. Likes, dislikes. I want to hear from you. Um, God bless you. It is all about you. It's about the body of Christ. It's about a personal relationship with Jesus. And we all have one and we need to expand it. We need to go to our source. We all have that same source. We all have that right. We're all trying to be like Jesus. So, dig, search. Ask God. Ask Jesus. Ask the Holy Spirit. Look in His Scripture. I, uh, when I've got questions that, you know, I always go to His Word. I want to find it in the Word. I ask God all the time to show me in the Bible and He'll tell me scriptures and give me scriptures and I'll open them up and read them. Because I want to know the truth. I don't, you know, I want to know for myself. I want to be built upon that rock. And I want y'all to, too. So I appreciate y'all listening. God bless y'all. Have a great and wonderful and awesome day. Talk to you soon. Please look at some of my other videos. Share them with other people. Help spread the word. Look at my video about the free Christian book. You get a copy of it. It's free. No charge. I send it to you. Awesome. It's an awesome tool. We all have experiences. And mine was your 35 year journey. It's in there in some of the other videos. Appreciate you all listening. Expand what you know. Who's your source? Get it from God. Follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Follow the leading of the Holy Ghost. The direction that He wants you to take in your life. Whatever it might be. Awesome. We're living in an awesome time. It's time to build up the saints of God and the people around you that are of God, that are godly, that are living for, for Him. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you tuning in. Have a great and wonderful day. God bless y'all. And talk to you soon.